Hello, piggy people. So we have two birthdays in the house. Miss Autumn over there in the wood logs. Hi, Autumn. Hi, sweetie. She is three. And baby pig has turned one. Hi, baby. Hi, big girl. Are you one years old? I can't believe it. So we got baby pig last November. And she was two months when we got her. So it's just crazy to think that she is a year old now. So I wanted to give you guys some updates. Um, so Reese is still doing well. Uh, her abscess has stayed without any inflammation or bump. Literally is just a hole in her skin that leaks. And I just have to tidy it up real quick. And she doesn't seem to be in pain. So she is just on antibiotics and some a low dose of Medicam. And she's been trucking along great. Has been doing really well. I think I mentioned last video where we had a little bit of a scare where she was very painful, but luckily that passed and she bounced back. Uh, Velvet is off in the cube. She's kind of taking a break. So I told you guys last time that her abscess opened, but she had a lump lower down on her neck that I couldn't figure out what it was. It turned out to be just more abscess. So I think last time when her abscess opened, I missed it by about a day. So the abscesses try to close themselves so fast, so it's obviously just a lower part of her abscess that already sealed off, and that's why I could feel a lump there. So my vet kindly had fit us in for today if I had needed it to do a drop-off appointment. So they're so sweet because they were fully booked, but they offered for her to be dropped off and they would look at her whenever they could fit her in. But I canceled that yesterday because the last few days that lower lump on Velvet's neck had just grown and I could just tell it was just pus again. But thankfully today, this evening, it has opened up again and I was able to push loads of pus out and flush it all out and I hope since I've caught it right away this time that we will be able to close it up and heal it again, fingers crossed. I think I've seen enough piggy pus to last me a lifetime this past year. So I know people are going to think like, wasn't that horrific to do that with Velvet? She actually didn't say a peep. Um, and she didn't care about me pushing all the stuff out or when I was flushing it. She didn't like when I was using the betadine because it's cold. So I used some saline that I heated up just a touch. And then she tolerated that perfectly and we got to flush it completely till it was all clear. And like Reese herself, I know people could think that she's had an abscess since February isn't that awful. But thankfully, she's doing well. She's eating, she's drinking, she's running for treats. Uh, she has no problem chomping down those little oxbow hay cookie things, the vitamin C ones. She's a happy pig. I always say, if the pigs are eating, drinking, hanging out with their buddies, sleeping comfortable, climbing the bars for treats, then life is good. And the minute that they're not having a good time, I would never ever make them suffer. So right now the maintenance for Reese is literally just wiping her neck for like 5 seconds every morning and every night just to get any of the seepage. Now Velvet is going to have to have flushings as long as the hole stays open. And we'll just see how it goes. It's not fun. Like, I don't enjoy these abscess problems. But also, if they're happy, like I said, then, yeah, I'm going to do whatever I can. And if it's flushing at morning and night and keeping her neck tidy, I'll do the same for Velvet. Just like I've been doing for my little Reese bear. Hi, baby bear. Well, that's rude. We were talking about you. Oh, there she goes. Hey, baby. Well, what the heck? Why is everybody leaving? Hucky? You're cleaning your feet. Nobody nobody wants to talk to us anymore. Well, I guess that's where we'll end the video. Can you see Velvet's little bum in there? She's having a time out. She probably just is like, ugh, I need a break. Alright, piggy people, see you later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from. 
So keep on watching.